welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil, and in this video, I'm upgrading this 2010 HP ProBook 6450B laptop to current spec. So let's get started. This laptop has 320 GB SATA hard drive and it has 4 GB of 1333 megahertz DDR3 sodium SD RAM. 2 GB in slot 1 and 2 GB in slot 2 and it came pre-installed with Windows 7 Pro which was launched back in October 2009 and the support ended in January 2020 and it has Intel Core i5 M520 CPU running at 2.4 GHz and can go up to 2.93 GHz with Intel Turbo Boost technology and it has a decent graphics but don't expect to play high-end games since it is a very old laptop. And in 2018, I decided to replace Windows 7 with Ubuntu 16.04 LTS and then upgraded it to Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Now, since this is a very old laptop, almost 10 years old, so it is slow compared to today's laptop. And the battery lasts only about an hour on full charge so I have to keep it plugged in when I'm using it. Plus points about this laptop is that it still works, even though it is a decade old. Yes, I cannot install latest OS like Windows 10 on this laptop, but Ubuntu works perfectly fine. I use this laptop to write code and run experimental projects and use it like a local server and access it from my MacBook Pro. Interesting points to note about this laptop is that even though it was made 10 years ago, it supports HDD up to 500 GB and SSD up to 160 GB. It supports RAM up to 8 GB, 4 GB in slot 1 and 4 GB in slot 2. So I decided to upgrade. I went online, found the official tech specs on HP website and then went to Amazon.in and ordered two. 4GB DDR3 RAM and 1 250GB SSD. Unfortunately, 160GB SSD was not available at that time, so I went with the 250GB model. I had a little trouble opening this laptop as it was not opened for like a decade. Anyways, there are two RAM slots. The one at the bottom of this laptop is super easy to access, but the other RAM slot is under the keyboard and that takes a while. After doing some cleanup, it was time to put the keyboard back and screw it in place. Accessing the hard drive is also easy. It is at the bottom of the laptop. Laptop that were made back in those days were super easy to work with. You can easily swap broken parts and make it work again all by yourself. But nowadays, it's a different story. Anyways. I was able to remove the 320 GB HDD that was there in this laptop and I replaced it with 250 GB SSD by Samsung. Now please note, the official tech spec of this laptop says that this laptop supports up to 160 GB SSD. So I'm hoping 250 GB won't be a problem. By the way, the HDD that I have taken out is still working and I'm planning to use it like an external hard drive. All I have to do is buy an adapter that has USB 2 or USB 3 interface and I'm done. After completing the hardware upgrade, I went to Ubuntu website and downloaded the 18.04 LTS ISO file and created a bootable USB and installed it on this laptop. And now let's check the new performance. Compared to last time, it is now running faster. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this video. 
If you find this video interesting then please like it and please subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys in my next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.